Hello guys, welcome to America's Got Talent highlights and news. Zion Clark's story means the rest of us have no excuse. If anyone ever had a reason and a right to be bitter, it's Zion Clark. Born without legs, Clark, who grew up in Stark County, was given up for adoption at infancy and shuttled through a series of foster homes. Earlier this month, viewers of the NBC program America's Got Talent got to see what Stark Countians already knew. Clark's disability is no disability at least, not in the traditional sense of the word. In fact, it's probably the least interesting thing about a life which leaves the rest of us without excuse. Clark, 25, was born with caudal regression syndrome, meaning that the lower part of his spine never properly developed. He has said he was subjected to abuse as a child, causing him to consider suicide at age 10. In some corners there's a snobbery about sports, which causes critics to miss its ability to foster community, encouragement and sportsmanship. But sports, and wrestling specifically, helped to save Clark's life. As a standout wrestler for Washington High School in Massillon, he became a varsity member of Kent State University's Tuscarawas campus team. In 2018, the National Collegiate Wrestling Association ranked him the eighth best wrestler in the U.S., his story becoming the subject of the Netflix documentary Zion. Choosing to embrace what Theodore Roosevelt once called the strenuous life, he has since transformed his skills to become a professional MA or mixed martial arts fighter, a power lifter, wheelchair racer, and motivational speaker. He earned a place in the Guinness Book of World Records as the fastest human on two hands. Clark also learned to play the drums, which he showcased during the America's Got Talent auditions, but wasn't selected by viewers as a finalist. But there's no loss in this narrative. Clark's accomplishments are a hard and bright contrast to the current trajectory of Americans needing safe places and bubble-wrapped accommodations for our hurt feelings. What others wouldn't give for the ability to wibble their toes, or even have toes, but it doesn't preclude the rest of us from complaining and drumming in resentment and rage in response to problems real and imagined. We take so much for granted. We are the richest, most successful and powerful nation on the planet, and still we are not satisfied. We ignore our own history, which is filled with examples of Americans who overcame disabilities because they were motivated to serve others, such as Sens, Bob Dole, Tammy Duckworth, John McCain and Max Cleland, and Rep. Dan Crenshaw, all of whom were severely injured in combat, yet recalibrated their lives to devote themselves to public service. As Japanese Americans were being herded into internment camps, Senator Daniel Inouye lost an arm while fighting the Nazis as a member of the famed 442nd Regimental Combat Team, earning a Congressional Medal of Honor, a Purple Heart, and a Bronze Star. He became a U.S. Senator in 1963, serving until his death in 2021. Born blind and deaf and long before women could even vote, Helen Keller did more to move forward the cause of disability rights than any laws ever could. Thomas Edison, who makes Elon Musk look like a hobbyist, was hearing impaired. Musk, whose impact on the world can't be denied, also has a disability. As a black enslaved woman impaired by seizures, Harriet Tubman had four strikes against her even as she became one of the greatest freedom fighters this country, or any, has ever seen. Abraham Lincoln suffered from what today would be diagnosed as clinical depression. Franklin Roosevelt was stricken with polio before he had even reached his prime. John F. Kennedy spent his childhood in a sickbed. Because of their shared experience of having a severely disabled sister, Kennedy's sister Eunice became the founding mother of Special Olympics. Yet even as we stand upon their shoulders, we find ourselves today electing people who think nothing of making sport of someone else's disability. The kind of people who bullied Zayn Clark. Clark's story is inspirational but there are millions of Americans like him, people who will never be famous but who, like him, refuse to allow their hopes to be sunk by challenges, setbacks, injustice, and the sometimes inexplicable unfairness of life. He and they remind us who were born perfectly healthy that we really have no excuse for failing to accomplish our secret wishes and unspoken dreams. Charita M. Gaucher is a Canton Repository staff writer and member of the editorial board. Reach her at 330-580-8313 or charita.gaucher at cantonrep.com. On Twitter, at Koshay P.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more talents.